In this video tutorial, you're gonna learn how to install Arch Linux on your PlayStation 4. Stay tuned! What's up guys, Dextech Pro with a new one. In this video tutorial, I'm gonna walk you through installation of the Arch Linux PSX ITA on your jailbroken PS4. Before you get started, you need to get prepared with the requirements, which are a USB stick with 12 gigabytes capacity, USB keyboard, mouse, and hub to expand the ports on PS4, Linux Arch files that I put the link in description below, and that's it. Alrighty, first off, you gotta format the USB stick in FAT32. If Windows doesn't allow you to do this, then you should use the third-party application. There are a bunch of free apps waiting for you on the internet. Now drag and drop Linux files into the root of the USB stick to copy. Plug the USB stick, keyboard and mouse into PS4 and we are just good to go. Cool. Go to PS4. Settings. Sound and Screen. Video Output Settings resolution and set it to 1080p get back to settings system disable hdmi device link and hdcp both together back to settings again network and connect the ps4 to the internet back to dashboard open up the web browser and go to www.psxita.it forward slash linux dash loader to load the linux loader payload now, payload is getting injected and starts the PS4 to boot from the USB stick. Cool, now I'm in. Time to install Arch Linux from the USB stick on USB stick itself. By the way guys, this installation doesn't override PS4 hard disk drive, okay? So, I mean, don't worry about your games and files on the PS4 console. They will be totally intact. Alright, for installation, you gotta type this command exec space install dash psx it arch dot sh then installation begins you should wait till the process is completely finished and this takes approximately 25 minutes or so but it's only one time installation i mean for the next time that you want to load linux again you don't need to install and wait this much long because the distro is already installed on usb stick and you just need to send linux loader payload then the ps4 boots up directly from the linux great Arch should start to boot automatically. If it doesn't, then you need to type this command exec space start dash psx it arch dot sh. And here it is. Finally, I am in. I got Linux Arch loaded on my PlayStation 4. This distro has all the PS4 hardware drivers built in, and you can just use Wi Fi and Bluetooth as well. Arch Linux transformed my PlayStation 4 to personal computer and I can install packages, emulators to play different console games such as PS1, PS2, PS3, Sega Saturn, and so many more. By the way, you don't need to enter username and password for logging into Arch Linux, but if you want to get the root access permission to install packages, then the username is PSXITA and the password is change it. To get back to PlayStation 4 dashboard, you simply click on Start Menu, upper left corner of the screen, and click on Return to the Orbis OS. Then the Arch Linux shuts down and reboots back to the PS4 Orbit OS. And that's the end of this video tutorial. Subscribe to my channel and watch the new videos. Thanks for watching and have a good one.